Pisces, welcome to my channel. All right, so let's see what we got going on for you. This will not resonate with everyone, so please stick with this and leave the rest. All right, so let's see. All right, messages for, it's almost said a long time, for Pisces. All right, so there's justice. Decisions being made, actions being taken, karma stepping in. Okay, what the hell is going on here, Pisces? You got strength in reverse, okay, so, and the devil on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what's going on? Something's very toxic that you're, um, are you engaging in this? Some type of temptation here. Some type of temptation that uh, you need to set some boundaries with this person. You are dealing with somebody that is manipulative. Very manipulative. And source is telling you you need to bring balance into your life. Walk away from this situation and heal. I don't know what this is that you're going through. But whatever this is, I think this is a karmic that you are dealing with. And someone feels off balance here, like they don't have any type of control, like they're losing control of this situation. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of drama going on with this person, a lot of arguing and fighting, competition, gossiping. It could be other people, or there, you know, could be other people involved. I do believe there are uh, other people involved. This is a burden. You may be finding yourself holding back from this situation, okay? This could actually be a marriage or family situation. Doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship uh, with lovers. This could literally be a family situation, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me one more. There's some drama and conflict here. Yeah, so I think you're waiting for a new opportunity, okay? You might have sown some seeds elsewhere, um, possibly apply for another job, another home, or something like that, and you're waiting for the right moment to make your move, all right? There is some type of either a financial situation going on here, or um, someone is actually literally leaving a partnership, a relationship, or not dealing with certain family members anymore. Okay, so let's see. And like I said, there could be more than, um, there could be multiple people involved in this situation as well. Give me more on justice. This almost feels like a family situation to me. Yeah. The world. There's a cycle closing out here. Karmic justice is being served. All right. So somebody is making a decision to close out a cycle and move forward. And actually the divine is telling you it's time to close this out and move forward. Okay. This cycle has ended. Whatever you're dealing with, with this person, it's time to hold back from this. Okay. Keep to yourself because this person is not worth you working with. Literally. It's not going to work, all right? So, source is telling you to keep to yourself, back up from this situation. You're dealing with somebody that's very shady, sneaky, all right? So, yeah. Um, damn. You have the Seven of Swords clarified by the strength. So, somebody's being very strategic here. Also, justice. There's confusion here. So, somebody's trying to bring some balance to this situation. But karma's stepping in here because karma sees that this person is doing some BS. And they are going to be judged accordingly. Okay? So, with that being said, give me one more. Yep. Yep. Look. Somebody's walking away from this situation because they see that this person is manipulative. Somebody has some blinders on not really seeing, or I won't say that. Someone may have gotten taken advantage of because this person came in under false pretenses, okay? Um, coming in possibly, okay, I'm your friend, you know, because, you know, we, we, we vibe like that. But in turn, this person is trying to take whatever they can get from you. Whatever their hands will carry, they're trying to get from you. And then on top of that, they're talking behind your back, okay? So Source is telling you, I'm about to shed some light on some things because there's some illusions here, sweetheart, that you seem to not see. 
All right, there are some things that you need to walk away from. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And so it's just telling you because this is going to keep you in your head. All right, it's possibly already have kept you in your head too because you may have noticed some things like, dang, you know, because it sure is acting um, a little shady or whatever. You know, sis is being really weird right now. You know, bro, I don't know what his issue is, but he, he kind of acting a little, you know, a little funny nowadays. All right, but the thing is, is that source is telling you, Look at it for what it is. It doesn't matter if this is friend, family member, lover, whatever. Look at them like the person that they are. Test and try the spirit. What are they bringing into your life? Okay, how do you even feel when this person shows up? Is there always a lot of drama behind this person? Do you always have to find yourself defending yourself from this person? Do you have a, a knack of getting communication from other people? Um, about what this person has said to them, you know, I, I don't know, but source is telling you, you got to make a decision, sweetheart, because you're not seeing something. There's something you're not seeing and there's something, someone you're not choosing to let go of. You keep this person in your life. It's always going to be out, out uh, unbalanced. I should say, I was going to say something else too. So, but, um, yeah, and it is somebody from your past. This may be a friend. This could be a family member, okay? But you've known this person for a long time. Long time. Give me five of swords, please. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Wands and Two of Wands. This may be someone that is, um, they're definitely working against you, okay? Um, this person may be very impulsive. <sighs> yeah, this person could actually be kind of kind of shady sometimes. And if this is the same person with the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands, yeah, somebody's running their mouth, probably setting you up in scenarios that are hard for you to get out or explain your way out of, just being ultimately difficult. Um, this is someone who can be very harsh and brash if um, if they want to be, you know, very low vibrational if they want to be, okay? So, yeah. And like I said, very impulsive. So, this is someone that's trying to get whatever they can from you. And uh, I'm getting, this person might be a little bit low-key jealous of you, too. I don't know what you're doing, but... Um, this person is has it has a need to watch everything that you do and to set up scenarios where they have to gossip, lie, cheat, steal, and do whatever. So I don't know what's up with this person. Look at this. You have the five of swords. Your person, this person is jealous as hell of you. Jealous of you. I mean, my God, the three of wands. See, you're waiting for your ships to come in, sweetheart. Your blessings to come in. You put in the hard work. And whatever you've gone through, it was not easy, okay? This was very emotional. Probably took a toll on you, a toll on your family. You know, you had to sacrifice time. And someone doesn't see the work that you did. And even if they did, they're still over here hating hating, gossiping, running your name into the mud, anybody that will listen. And why are they jealous? Look at this. Look at this that's coming for you. You have love, abundance, happiness, money, a happy family celebrating with your friends. Got it going on, okay? Multiple cups filled, overflowing, okay? So this person is really hating on you. Plus, you have someone that possibly wants to come in and invest and give you more. All right. Someone here, um, someone here is, is, I won't say lucky, but people like to give you things and it's because you pay it forward. Okay. You give back to others. You don't, you don't vibe in this, this, this here. All right, this is beneath you. So source is like, you know what? Hey, check this out, Pisces. I see, I see your game plan, babe. I see you keeping things to yourself. You know what I mean? Not involving yourself in all this BS. So you know what, sweetheart? I'm about to bless you with something. Cause yeah, you you over here doing the damn thing. Look at that. Let me go on and bless you with this. All right. But I want you to be mindful of what's going on. But when you get this blessing, shh. 
keep it on the low, keep it on the hush, okay? Because it ain't for everybody. Look at this. You're getting a lot of attention, a lot of a recognition, a lot of rewards, okay? Um, praises, I'm just saying. So you got people that are watching this happen for you, and they are not happy, sweetheart. But guess what? That ain't your problem. I'm just saying. That's there. So if we, what we're going to do is give them that problem, package it up in a nice, neat little bow, and return to sender, okay? All that little negative energy, those little vibes that they got going on, we're not having that, okay? So, yeah, you got some haters, sweetheart, but you must be doing something right, okay? All right, so let's see. What's going on with new love for Pisces? And hopefully I'll have enough time to do your money. And, uh, yeah, I'll get out of here. All right, so let's see. What's going on with new love? New love. Will of Fortune. So there's definitely a cycle that is uh, coming to an end, a season coming to an end. However, it looks like something new is coming up. For you, you are going to make a head over heart decision. I uh, hate to say it, but you're going to scrutinize the hell out of this per person and this relationship, what they're bringing to the table, what you want with me, what do you have to invest. Um, yeah, what is your past like? What is your last relationship in? I'm telling you, you want to know everything, everything, everything. Because you're not trying to go through the cycles that you went through before because it left you hurt, guarded. And it's, you invested a lot and a lot of people gave a lot of love and didn't get the things that you deserved in return, okay? So you're closed off to something new right now, taking a knee, all right, possibly taking a break from relationships or whatever, but you're guarding whatever it is that you have left. So this is my precious and you shall not come in and infiltrate it, okay? Unless I allow you to come in. And if I allow you to come in, you coming in with something real and you're taking action. Not just giving me words, you're putting in the work, okay? So, yeah, I think there's going to be some forward movement here. I like that. I like it. All right, I see you, Pisces. Pisces ain't playing. All right, you may take a period of time by yourself to go in hermit mode. Like I said, gaining a different perspective over the people in your life and new things that are coming towards you. And you're scrutinizing everything that comes to your path. New people, old people, everything. Okay, so when it comes to this new person, you want to know what are the toxic traits that you have that may, um, that may, um, disrupt this connection that we have everybody has toxic traits it just depends on what your traits are um some of your traits might not be toxic to other people i'm just saying all right but there's some things that when i put it like this toxic traits everybody has something that they need to work on okay something that we've picked up from other people from our parents from the people around us and also our own behaviors in relationships that are not healthy for us okay so this is something that we need to work on what's the obstacle obstacles oh my god that are in my path that are keeping me from having the desired results that i want the love that i want the light that i want all right, somebody is actually watching you at this time, okay? So this could be the new person. They already got their eye on you. You know, maybe they're watching your social media. Maybe this is someone in your neighborhood or something like that. Like, damn, you know, Pisces kind of seem kind of cool. Let me go over there and see if I can, you know, talk to this person. What did I say? Let me see if I can go and talk to this person, okay? But just be mindful of the type of people that are coming into your life. You know, what do you want? You know, be upfront. What do you want before you decide to go for it, all right? Use your intuition when it comes to these people before you decide to move forward towards it, all right? And, um... Do less talking and more listening. I'm just saying. You're going to end up with your Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful thing, but you're going to have to kiss a lot of frogs, baby, or go through a lot of frogs before you get to what you want. There's going to be some lessons learned here along the way as well. But you really have somebody watching the hell out of you. Wow. Okay. But anywho, you're watching these people learning different things and, and watching their behaviors. Also, another thing that you're doing is you're investing time in yourself. And what I mean by that is you're taking your time learning these people. So 
you're not rushing in. You may be dating someone a little bit longer just to see, you know, because after a while, the mask drops, you know. Uh, everybody's on their best behavior when you first meet somebody. But then after a while, you start finding out that the person is lazy in the relationship. They don't, you know, they want you to do all the work or whatever. They don't want, you know, to take you out on a date. They expect for you to do it all the time or whatever. There's no equal give and take. Maybe you find out that this person is a horrible communicator or whatever it is. Okay, so you're taking your time because you know your worth and you want somebody that's going to match that. Okay, so I see you, you know, I see new things coming in for you and I see you expecting, you know, new people coming in for you. But what you're expecting versus what you're getting, you're willing to hold out for. Okay, you're willing to hold out for what you want. You're not accepting everything that's coming towards you and not being funny. Some people might have a problem with that, but oh, well, that's their problem, sweetheart. Okay. So you do have somebody keeping an eye on you at this time. And uh, yeah, I think this person is watching you and possibly trying to learn, you know, see more of who you are. Check out your personality. All right. This might be somebody that you work with. It could be in your community or it could be someone that is um, somehow affiliated with you and your friends. OK, but just be mindful, like I said, of who you bring into your life. All right, let's see what's going on with your pentacles. What's going on with money for Pisces? Ooh, look at you. King of Pentacles pops out. Look at this. Sweetheart, you're going to have decisions to make. You might find yourself juggling jobs. You may be working two jobs. You're being very strategic when it comes to your pentacles, okay? So whatever it is that you're doing, you're working really hard at it, and it's going to be successful here, okay? Um... The only thing that I can say, look at this. All right. So also, I also see whatever you're doing, there's going to be a lot of competition as well. You could be getting a new position here where other people are applying for it. And guess what? You are the one that gets it. Somebody is deciding between you and someone else here. So I do believe that you're going to be the one that comes out on top. But there's a lot of stuff going on on the work scene. There could be a lot of chatter going on as well. Don't pay attention to that. Keep on your grind. Stay what you're doing. You know, keep what you're doing. Stay focused. All right. So there's some decisions that are going to be made here that are going to be um, very emotional or um, I won't. Well, yeah, it's going to be a little turbulent. OK, do I go for it? Don't I go for it? OK. Also, my goodness, uh, there's a situation arising with. Um, someone at your job or around a new um a new situation that you are going to have to um you're gonna have to protect yourself from guard yourself from yeah so yeah um limit your communication with these people if you you know yeah, I mean, I'm going to put it to you like this. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of drama. you got the page of wands in reverse here. So someone is a very low vibrational, um, not taking action, though, but possibly in this crew running their mouth. OK, there's not a lot of clarity and communication going on. I think there's a bit of confusion going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. But eventually you're going to find yourself having to defend yourself from these same people. From this crew because they're running their mouths about whatever. You know what I mean? And pretty much whatever it is that you do, you do it very well. All right. And you do it very passionately and they have a problem with it. Somebody's getting ready to get elevated here to another level. And these people are jealous. All right. So you have something coming towards you. Yeah. So when it comes to this drama and stuff, I, I know you may be tempted to pop off or, you know, clap back if somebody don't. Look at it from a different perspective, okay? Take a break from it, all right? It may be kind of hurtful or whatever. You know, you may be good to these people and don't understand why they're hating on you. And it's because they see you shine, all right, sweetheart? Everybody doesn't shine like that. And eventually what's going to happen, these people are going to be stuck where they are, but you're moving forward, possibly into a supervisor role or whatever. Like I said, something is happening here. The wheel is turning in your favor. So there's a season that's going to close out with all of this drama, all right, and you'll be able to walk away from this in victory. 
So, yeah, somebody's about to see you level up, and they are pissed. They're watching you level up. So, they're not really happy. Give me the King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Somebody's guarded. Like I said, you're going to have to protect yourself from whoever this is, okay? Um, there's a lot of talk going on about you, okay? And although they may not bring it to your attention, you're going to hear about it. And you're going to have to defend your character, okay? Put some people in their place politely, you know, I'm just saying. See, you're manifesting new beginnings, too. You have multiple options coming, too, all right? So, like I said, I, I can see that you're going to be weighing your options. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay in this position here? I Some of you might actually be juggling two different jobs. Excuse me, but whatever goes on here is going to keep you up worry stress and i'm telling you don't worry and stress over this situation this is none of your business sweetheart give it to god and leave it alone somebody's trying to lower your vibration break you in order to take this from you i want you to look at it like this when these people come in and trigger you think of them as thieves okay they are trying to take something precious from you okay so protect yourself all right, be mindful of your words, too, because you don't have to go at everybody. You show them better than you can tell them, all right? Nine of Pentacles, invest in yourself, do your thing, all right? So, yeah, you do have some help coming. Um, my goodness, some of these people that are in this situation, look, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to come from amongst them. Do your own thing, okay? Because some of these people you've known for a long, long time, and you're not expecting for this to be the attitude and their actions, okay? So, source is telling you, never mind. You see their true colors. Come from amongst them. Do your thing. Focus on you, sweetheart, all right? Because I got a mission for you anyway, all right? So, yeah, there's something coming for you. I just saw the tower, so there's some unexpected movement coming for you, okay? Yep, sure is. Look. Oh, I like it. You got an offer coming, so you'll probably be moving to it. Look at this. Somebody wants to collaborate with you, sweetheart. This is a new job, a new opportunity, something that's getting ready to set you up, like I said, for the king of pentacles, all right? Keep this to yourself. All right, come from amongst them. Don't hang around these people. Don't tell them your business. Keep it on the low. All right, and uh, keep doing your thing. You are the high priestess. So things are happening for you. You're manifesting new beginnings. Like I said, source is seeing everything that you're doing. You're in alignment with source. Doing your damn thing, all right? And you're not telling everybody all your business. All right, so let's see. Ace of Swords in reverse, clarified by justice. All right, so you don't see what's happening here. There's no communication. You don't have clarity, but Source is like, you know what? Don't trip. I got you. I got you. You just keep going after what you want and sitting pretty, doing your thing, not, not taking no ish from nobody, you know what I mean? And staying on your grind, all right? Just, just watch me open these doors for you. I'm going to level out all of this for you. So I see drama, conflict, and all this stuff being resolved for you. Sources coming in and rectifying all of this, okay? So this is a good thing. And source is telling you, be patient. I got you. We have a contract together. I'm going to work this out. I see that you're, you're holding up your end, so I'm going to hold up mine, okay? You make the move going right, and I'm going to finish it. I'm coming up right behind you, all right? And then I'm going to scoot in front of you and open up some doors for you, okay? Because guess what? You got new love coming in. You got some blessings coming in. Yeah, look, you got offers coming in. Why? Because you leveled up. Level up, level up, level up. I like it. I like it. So you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So you have uh, quite a few changes coming on. I see that this wheel is going to turn for you at least three different times, okay? So there is that. All right. So let's see if we can get anything about new love. I think that first reading kind of did it all. Hmm. Look at that. Wow. I think while you're focusing on yourself, healing, loving on you, doing your thing, you got a partnership coming in. Let's see. Give me four. Focusing on yourself, investing in yourself, 
hanging out with your friends, doing your things, taking a break from other uh, toxic situations that did not serve you any good. All right. And yeah, you're looking good here. There goes that wheel again. Hmm. That's four times. So you have a lot of changes, a lot of uh, transition, a lot of growth happening here. Okay. So it looks like you actually, um, it's crazy because I just got a picture of a video game. Okay. Um, you pass to the next level. I'm just saying you pass to the next level. You got the assignment, right? Okay. You got somebody that's coming in that wants to make an offer towards you while you're taking a break, focusing on yourself. Like I said, you got somebody that is coming in with an offer. However, with this offer, you got someone that is watching this, seeing this, and is pretty damn jealous. Yeah. Okay. You may decide if you want to put the work into this situation or not. Uh, another thing. Be mindful of the celebration, okay? Some of you may be hanging out with your friends too much, doing too much partying, hanging out with your friends, and your money may be neglected. Someone may be, may be neglecting work here, okay? Focusing on your finance. So make sure that you bring an even balance in here, okay? I do see wish fulfillment coming up for you. And uh, also, you know, this is investing in yourself healing and moving forward give me more on the seven of pentacles please i didn't mean for that to fall out but okay you're waiting for new things to come in you do have someone that is watching you or this is you being abundant stable emotionally grounded and doing your thing okay focus hard on work or it could be somebody that's watching you i don't know all right, so you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups in reverse. So you're putting an end to confusion, drama, um, all that mess that was going on in the past or whatever. You're putting an end to this and moving forward, okay? Focusing on one cup and not seven. All right, that could have been multiple people that was bringing a whole bunch of grief. All right, so seven of, I'm sorry, four of swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands. Look at this. I told you, you have somebody that's coming in that's very passionate about you, all right? Um, this person is sexy as hell, loves, they know what they want, they're going after it, all right? And they're going to put in the work, okay? This person is not coming at you half-ass, all right? So, yeah, and it's basically while you're on a break, while you're healing, while you're focusing on your pinnacles, doing your thing, okay? Um, you might meet this person while you're out with your friends, okay? And that could be another reason why... The focus isn't too much on your financial stability because you have a distraction here, a new distraction. So, yeah, there's that. Give me a page of pentacles. There's definitely communication coming in. There's going to be forward movement, possibly from an emperor, okay? Somebody that's going to come in, boss up, take control of this situation. Hey, you know what? I see I want Pisces, and uh, I'm going for it. Uh, Pisces is a catch. Have you lost your mind? Have you seen Pisces? Everybody is looking at Pisces. Man, uh-uh. You guys need to step out my way because I'm rushing in right there. That's mine right there. That's bae. That's husband. That's wife right there, all right? That's all me. Yep, and somebody has been very patient while watching you too. Patiently just vibing, chilling, chilling, watching you, wondering if they should come towards you or when they should come towards you, okay? So you definitely have someone new on the horizon um, coming towards you. So uh, yeah, there's that. I like it. So um, hopefully everything goes well for you. I'm not going to get a clarification on that one because, yeah, I've been here long enough already. But anyway, that's what I have for you. Thank you for rocking with your girl. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. All right, take care. Bye.